According to Seoul's Unification Ministry, the former First Lady of South Korea visited the new North Korea Kim Jong-un. Lee Hee-ho said that she made the trip to North Korea with a 13-member delegation to give condolences to Jong-un for the death of his father from a heart attack on the 17th. The Seoul officials insist that she was making a personal trip, not one on behalf of the South Korean government. Lee Hee Ho said that she was making the trip in the hopes of improving the relationship between the two countries. Lee Hee Ho is one of only two delegations that have been allowed to visit North Korea since the death of its former leader, Kim Jong Il. The second delegation was led by Hyundai Chairwoman Hong Jan Yun, who also visited the Kamususan Memorial Palace to pay respects to the deceased leader as well. The delegates held a lunch meeting with unidentified officials in Pyongyang later on Monday before paying last respects to Jong Il, according to the South Unification Ministry, which handles inter-Korean affairs. It was Lee Hee Ho's husband, Kim Dae Young, who met with Kim Jong Il in the first ever inter-Korea summit in 2000. At this time, it is not known what was discussed between Lee and the younger Kim. Al Jazeera's Harry Fawcett, reporting from the border between the two countries, said that Hyundai had done a lot of business with North Korea.